Now I want to uh, confirm the worst kept secret in London, <laughs> <laughs> the title of the film. Strangely, it wasn't frustrating because there's really nothing I could do about it. It was, uh, it was a financial issue, and uh, I, could just, I just had to let them get on with it. Um, and I was just fortunate and lucky enough to sort of go off and be able to go off and do some other projects. So I kept myself busy. Um, um, it's kind of been frustrating, funnily enough, over the past three months because now everything's ready, and we're, we're, uh, you know, I'm just, I want to get going, that's all. Uh, who told you that a villain is a bad person? <laughs> Uh, it's misunderstood. So, <laughs> for me, it's an honor to be in this table for many reasons. First, because of the background story that Bond has on me. Second, because the quality of these professionals, that it's uh, beyond words. And third, because it's going to be fun to do. And for me, it's a pleasure and an honor to be here. I, when I got the, the auditions, it took me a few days to realize that I was finally part of it, and I'm absolutely excited about, about it. I've always been a huge fan of the Bond movies as a child. Of course, every young English schoolboy grows up with them, in a sense, part of my life, you know. And I vividly remember the first time I saw one of the Bond movies, which was Live and Let Die, and the impact it had on me. When Barbara and Michael and Daniel came to me, uh, I thought the story was fantastic. I love Daniel, I love Judy, and I wanted a huge challenge. And for me, this was an enormous challenge, and one I'm extremely pleased that I've taken thus far. It has some uh, emotional context, which will be revealed in the film. You have to wait and see. Yes. <laughs> this is a question we've been trying to get. 